Hi guys, welcome to the Leroy Studios. We'll be talking about stories progress or the status progress. I'll quickly show you something right there from the emulator. I'm very sure you would have been seeing this in different uh, social media platforms. Uh, WhatsApp status, uh, Facebook Messenger status, uh, uh, WeChat, Instagram, you would have been seeing this. Uh, so let's quickly get to look at how it's going to flow. Uh, so basically it's going to show uh, the progress of different pictures uh, look at the first one followed by the second the third the fourth and uh, back to the last uh, we'll be looking at how to achieve this uh, in Android uh, application and with the help of uh, a particular kind of library called the stories progress view it's going to enable us to get this uh, story brought in. Uh, into one full uh, application and uh, we're going to be at coding pictures at this point in time having sampled pictures one to five and uh, we'll be uh, using them in the next video we'll be uh, talking about how to do this dynamically uh, where we get to upload pictures or uh, select different uh, pictures from gallery to get that uh, right there into the story's progress uh, so I'll be starting from here right there in Android Studio you need to implement uh, the library dependency in the dependency sections where you need to point out the implementation come to github uh, stories progress view 2.0.0 so that's uh, the version at the point of recording uh, so you, once you do that you sync gradle and i will employ you to get your compiler zk version to 26 and above uh, the build tools versions 27.0.3 uh, the minimum sdk version could be 15 while your target sdk version sh should be 26 and above uh, so as to support uh, the new Android Oreo. Cool. Uh, so after this, uh, let's look at the layout file, which is going to be the uh, the the UI of the particular application. Uh, we have the image view uh, set right on top. Uh, we'll get to look at this uh, the, the display later on. Uh, the image view set on the top right there. I would like to bring that up and bring this up. Cool. Uh, you could see the uh, the display right there in the right section of the screen. Uh, we have the image view as you've seen right there, and the linear layout that uh, is going to depict uh, the different views, the reverse and the skip. Uh, so you could see uh, with the view tag. After that, you have the stories progress view tag, uh, which is going to hold on to the stories uh, with the pattern left and right of A3P. Uh, with a layout width of much bigger than the layout size of 3dp so it's actually going to be the uh the progress you'll be seeing right on top of the, the of the image you could do this for video you could do this for images we'll get to uh look at complicated flow in later series of this uh tutorial uh so after this uh we'll be looking at the main activity we only have one single activity here to aim to to tie up all this uh implementation the main activity extends the app compact activity and implements the stories progress view a calling on the stories listener. With this, you need to provide some methods that follow the implementation, uh, which is the on next, on previous, on complete, and on destroy. So uh, this implementation will be talked about in later. Uh, so after this, uh, you get to have the integer, uh, the static integer of the progress count. You want to count how many pictures there is in uh, in flow so this is just going to be generated dynamic dynamically based on the numbers of pictures uploaded so we'll get to look at all that later on uh we have the stories view and the uh, the image view uh the count here we start from zero you need to count from the first area of the picture uh, that's zero to the last index so that's the essence of the counter so it's going to start from the first area uh index called zero and you have an array, an integer array of the resources. Uh, since we are coding and we are picking from the variable, you're going to have that in an integer data type. That's why you're having as an int final, and we've declared the variables needed five pictures. We just uh, tweak them, make it six, but the, the five. And you could have the duration for each one of them, and uh, which you have for uh, in long data type, and uh, you have the, the time when you're pressing sometimes you need to press to hold on to it sometimes you need to press to skip sometimes you need to press to what to go to the previous uh, you have a limit uh, which is the 500 long uh, in milliseconds that's what that is 
Now, uh, after that, you need to create a touch listener on those images because it needs to uh, listen to touch. That's just is not an on-click of this time. A touch listener will be cool where you need to instantiate the view on touch listener and override on touch method. What you're going to do, you get to look at the view and the motion events. Uh, if the event action is action down, it's going to uh, create the press time to the system current time milliseconds and uh, it's going to pause the video uh, the picture or the flow uh, but if it's an action up it's going to get the time in milliseconds as well and resume uh, the progress view which is the story progress view and return what the limit <coughs> excuse me if it's less than now minus the press time so it's going to return a particular millisecond value uh, which will serve as the new uh, action up. Cool. Let's get to look at the main structure of this uh, flow. In the onCreate method, you set the content view as usual. Uh, you get the flags to uh, show uh, the full screen. Uh, we're having that bar because we are actually using the app theme, which are uh, out of the box. It's going to give you a toolbar. Uh, but if you want to do this perfectly, you need to use it. No action toolbar or no action bar. So we get to do that. Uh, in uh, you get to look at that in the styles and create your no action bar and point that from the manifest to that. So cool. Uh, the progress view now you instantiate calling the stories ID. Uh, you set the stories count or the stories count based on the progress count, which is worth six that's the picture the number of pictures you're looking at uh, you set the duration the story duration uh, to 3000 long so 3000 milliseconds uh, from one flip of an image to the next that's the duration uh, you could also set the stories count with durations but we don't need that for now you set the stories listener that should be a listener on the stories view after that you start the stories so what are you going to do right now now you need the image because uh, you're actually setting up image on there uh, you is to share the image and you set the image resource based on the resources with its counter since you are dealing with an integer array uh, it's going to have you and the counter starts from zero so you're going to actually this is going to start from resources zero that's the first picture in the integer array, which is sample one so it, as it moves the counter should iterate should uh, be at uh, one should be added to it we'll get to look at how you're going to do that uh right here so in, after that you need to bind some uh flow you bind the reverse view you call the reverse id I, I i believe you have the view right there in the activity main this this is the reverse this is the skip uh we're implementing that in the main activity uh you set on click listener to that uh it's to share the view on click listener as usual and override the onclick method and what you're going to do to the progress view you reverse you call the reverse to the progress view that's a step backward uh you set the touch listener to the reverse to get that done and what you're going to do you bind the skip view uh, that's for the reverse view and now let's get to look at for the skip view when you want to skip to the next uh you also call the skip uh view from the tidy from the layout we saw you set the on click listener to that and override on click method and uh, you get to look at the skip you, you, you implement a skip to the stories progress view you set on touch listener to that and still maintain that so you have the two flow the reverse and the skip so when you're trying to skip to the next picture you click on that it skips you reverse you also reverse to the second uh to the calling picture on that on next you could uh, that's uh that's the override override methods that we need to look at the on next the on previous and on complete on next what you're going to do you set the image resources that's when you click the on next or uh, skip uh you set the image resources and iterate the counter plus 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 one to the counter so it's going to have the second index the third index just like that once it gets to the last index so you have that uh set up on next you set the image resources and on previous it's just the same uh if the counter is minus minus counter minus one is less than zero you return so uh if it got into the to the to the end that's, that shouldn't be anything like minus one uh so that's just the essence of that uh but if it's not you set the image resources 
and it to reduce to deduct from the index that's minus minus probably when you're at seven minus six minus five when you get to zero you return you don't get to minus one that's what that's going to do incomplete you might do something else probably incomplete unfinished to the sixth you could do you could call another activity or you could call another uh story view of probably a, a different user so that's just the flow when you're looking at facebook chats when you're looking at uh whatsapp uh so incomplete here is very important what are you going to do when you've gotten to the sixth index or to the seventh or to the last index of the image array like you, will you call the next uh user or will you call it new activity or will you do something or you it depends on how you want the flow to be or it depends on how you set up your algorithm to get this uh continue so incomplete is where you get to do that on destroy uh if the activity gets destroyed or probably the uh the view attached to uh, using a fragment with it uh gets destroyed you could undo that and destroy the stro story's progress view at the point in time it's very important so you call this upon destroy i think so that it's not going to disturb or distort some view or crash your application in the course of doing it so you've undo all our life cycle changes and you've undo all uh possible actions on next on previous and on conflict uh so you get to look at that in uh the next video we'll, we'll be looking at how to set up or how to uh, enhance this how to probably fetch from uh fetch from uh different uh apis or how to even set uh pictures as a user uh to the story view or to the story progress view and get that flow as well so we'll be manipulating this setup but this is the basic introduction to how to get this uh setup with the app of our library you have uh, a lot to do the sky is just a starting point for you when it comes to manipulating and adding more features to this so it, catch me up in the next video i uh, will be looking at how to set this up and let's get to look at the peep of how the our our, our storyboard is really looking like we've got we've got it to the complete uh let's look back gonna start up and uh, we'll get to look at uh, the flow just like what we had now a click goes next another click you can see that it's most up to the last thank you very very much for hanging out with me and catch me up in the next video bye bye for now don't forget to subscribe to the channel the Laura Studios put on put on your notification so you get uh, on the fly when videos are uploaded to the channel uh, you'll be the first to watch and learn from this bye bye for now